question is asking us to calculate the average rate at which water is forming if the average rate of formation of carbon dioxide is 0 0.0020 moles per second in the equation C5H12 plus O2 equals CO2 plus H2O. So first we're going to have to set up our rate expression and one of the first things you should notice here is that our equation is not balanced. So we have an unequal number of molecules, but that can be easily fixed, so all you have to do is balance. So over here we have five carbons. Five carbons, so we need five over here. And on this side we have twelve hydrogens, which means we need a six over here. Six times two is twelve. So we have five hydrogens, or five carbons, 12 hydrogens. Now we just need to balance our oxygens. We have 10 oxygens here, 6 oxygens here. We have 16 total. We have 2 on this side, so we got to throw an 8 in front of that guy. And now we have a balanced expression. So we're just going to go ahead and set up our rate expression. So we have our carbon concentration, carbon C5H12 concentration, delta T. So we're going to negative there because we're consuming that. It's equal to negative 1 over 8. Coefficient 8 goes under the 1. Negative because we're consuming oxygen in this reaction over delta T. We're going to have 1 fifth. This, one, this guy's positive since we're going to be producing CO2. This could be our product. And lastly, it's going to be equal to our water concentration over delta T. We've got a 6 there, coefficient, so I'm going to put 1 over 6. Again, it's positive because we're forming water again. And so, now we have this all set up. We are given our CO2 rate. So all we have to do is multiply by our coefficient, and we'll have what one whole rate is. Once we have the one whole rate, all we have to do is multiply by the 6 of the coefficient of water. So we take our 0 0.0020 moles per second. We're going to multiply that guy by 1 fifth. That will give you a value of 4e to the negative 4. And we have that. All that's left to do is multiply by the 6. So we do times 6, and that gives us a concentration of, or a rate of 0 0.0024 moles per second of water. And at that moment, that's how much water we're going to be forming per second.